All right, we're back, and Peter's here, and we're talking about, well, about how the world's going to change, really, <laughs> um, because these language models and, uh, oh yeah, that's what I that's what I was uh, harping on. So, um, so these a uh, these things are coming out, and uh, people are worried that they're going to be out of work. But then you have to also think that, because this is based on a, on on the basic design of a neuron, that's what we have. That's the that's our leverage as humans. We have lots of neurons <laughs> that can be trained to do complex things, like even creative things like poetry and art and all this. And now we've got a machine that can just do that and not get a headache and just keep going <laughs> for like 24 hours and at 500 times the speed or I don't know how, how, how fast. So all of the advantages that we have since the beginning of time, since the beginning of the human race, we're not going to have that soon. It's not going to be an advantage. Yeah, I mean, we're, there's a reason why we're the dominant species on the planet, right, at the time, right? <laughs> like, you know, we, we're able to multiply so much because we're able to conquer things through our knowledge, our intelligence, through use of tools and working together. And and if we're actually creating something that's more intelligent than us, so that's that's kind of like, well, yeah, that's even... not a good position to be in if you if it's not aligned with what we need, right? Oh yeah, that's the other. That's another thing. Well, let me let me just um, t let me just talk about that al uh, alignment thing. Um, or oh, sorry about the uh, neuron thing. Yeah. So, the two things that they have that computers have before neuron that comes out, of course, um, is they can be trained like we can be trained. So if I practice for you know five hours a day on some sport, let's say soccer or whatever it is, I can get better and better at soccer. But that's only me. Whereas these machines, as soon as one machine, you know, yeah. you get a group of the best chefs <laughs> and you train an AI system on making the best souffle, mm. well, then all the AIs could potentially make the best souffle. Yeah. So you'll have an all AI is capable of speaking. Well, they already can speak every language. Yeah. They speak every language. They are the expert in everything. Have a, they pretty much have the equivalent degree in everything, doctorate in everything. They're an engineer. They're an artist. They're a poet. They're a mathematician. They're a chemist. <laughs> so, and they're the best at it. They're way better than we could ever be. Yeah. And then you've got the cross pollination between the uh the disciplines yeah like the the the, the engineer is gonna to help them discover so much more right because yeah. it's a convergence of those ideas and the and the science behind it too and what's going to be really interesting i mean i think the best description of it is almost like a duplicator for intelligence that's scalable and even more better right so imagine if you could just like make a copy of a human an adult human that's already gone through all the education system and the work experience and you just made a copy of them and you keep on making copies like that's going to change the economy so much and that's what we what's happening right now with these ais and there's infinite amount that you could achieve by just adding more compute clusters right? sorry <laughs> i just can't i just it's kind of like that's what ray coined with the singularities you can't yeah. see past this yeah 